peak. Yep. So very cool. Now, it's fireworks tonight, and we all know that it affects our animals real bad, but especially our dogs who are indoors with us. Mm. What do we do? Yeah, so we thought we'd catch up with a man who knows um, a lot about dogs, in particular mindfulness for dogs. Darren Rowe joins us now. Hey, what can we do, Darren, to help support our pets during Guy Fawkes? Yeah, it's a, it's a terrible time of year, isn't it? And, mm. and we've even got these dogs, I think we were talking earlier, we've got these dogs that sit there and just, like, watch the fireworks in amazement, or we've got the ones that are shivering and shaking mm. in the corner. Yeah, it's such Poor a thing. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? But yeah. you're right. What do you do? Because um, uh, you know it's horrible to watch your pet do that, isn't it? So, yes, and they're so, outside your window. You can't uh, stop yeah. the people in your street no, letting off right. fireworks. And to be honest, we can we can argue that as much as we like. But at the end of the day, everyone likes fireworks, don't they? Mm. So, so what we've got to do is be, be a bit preemptive and set the dog up before the fireworks start. So um, the thing I do is just before sunset. That's because obviously they're not they're not out before sunset. Yeah. So mm -hmm. bring them inside. Find a really nice, comfortable place for them to be. Yep. Um, I don't lock them in crates. I know a lot of people do that because um, I don't know if you know about the dogs, but when they're going to flight and fight when they're scared, if they can't flight, then they might get, get a bit anxious. aggressive. Yeah, oh, so okay. keep that door yep. open so they can get out and walk yep. around. But but don't give them run of the house. Um, certainly don't give them run of the garden. So would it be like a good lounge? Maybe like the yeah. lounge, somewhere where they can be safely tucked and put their bed in the corner? Okay, yeah, and then definitely. what? And, and you certainly want to be um, around. So it's been proved that if we are there in a comforting way, and I don't mean lots of cuddles, and I'll talk mm. about that in a second, but in a comforting way, uh, um, more of a role model, just being calm and quiet, oh. then the dogs will read from us. Their emotion, okay. Our emotional state has a massive effect on the dog's emotional state. That's interesting, because you, okay. you're right. When You can tell when, like, for example, possibly, not speaking from experience, <laughs> but if my husband and I are having words, the dog suddenly sits <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah, they totally they, get it. You know, they do understand. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. He always sides with me, though, obviously. But oh, anyway, he knows where his food comes from. <laughs> <laughs> back to yeah. Guy Fawkes. Yeah. So we, we, we need to be calm as well. So why are we not cuddling them? Yeah, so so I've got my own theories on that one. But And a lot of people say that you cuddle a dog and you can console them. And I think if it was a small baby, that would be the, the case. But um, for my uh, ideas, that when you cuddle a dog, again, it's a bit like the crate, isn't it? You're actually mm. restricting their movement. Okay. And yes. sometimes if dogs are in that fear state, then, then they might bite you. And I'm all about protecting kids and protecting yeah. people when it comes to dogs. If you get that cuddle in before they get scared then it's going to be consoling but otherwise once they're scared it's like a okay. Whoa, really yeah. scary you're thing. trying to hold them down yeah yeah pretty right. much yeah Darren from Mindful Discs for Dogs, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, you can find him on Facebook under Mindfulness for Dogs. It's the number four, and uh, he can help out. He's he's just so calm and lovely. Mm. And, you know, if you message him and ask him a question about, about your dog, he's going to help you through. So yeah, thoroughly, um, thoroughly recommend the lovely Darren, and it's good advice for tonight and obviously for Saturday. That's right. Right, news on the way in just a tick. Live from 5.30.